top programming languages for gaming. So guys, in this video, I'll be talking to you about all the different popular languages there are for the purpose of game development. Before we get started, I want to introduce you to Great Learning Academy a free initiative by Great Learning. You can access over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on trending high demand domains. Absolutely free. Register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion. Check out the link in the description of the video below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from Great Learning. If you enjoyed this video, show us some love and like this video. Knowledge increases by sharing, so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues. And make sure to comment on the video for any queries or suggestions and I will respond to them. Now, there are quite a few languages out there for a lot of different purposes, but there are only a few that I think that really suit this role of game development. Obviously, there's always new languages coming up, new frameworks coming up. But in today's video, we'll be talking about some of the more popular ones that have stayed in the industry for some time and are very widely used. Okay, so let us begin this video. So, guys, I want to tell you how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to have a few languages listed out for you. We're going to start from the one that I think uh, is the least interesting one to the most interesting one. And you know, that's how it happens in the industry. Also, the more, the least one that I think is used a lot versus the most one that I'll talk to you about the end. All right. So with that understanding out of the way, let us begin with the first language that is Lua. So Lua is an amazing language. So there are a lot of different things to talk about it. Okay. So the first thing I want to tell you guys about it is that it's a very fast cross platform scripting language that is used widely in the gaming industry. It's very easy to pick up and it's very beginner friendly. So if you are a beginner and you are looking to get into game development, Lua is a good language to pick up, right? There are a lot of advantages to learning Lua and start using Lua. One of the more amazing advantages is that it's great for modding purposes. If you guys don't know what modding is, modding is basically taking a game, making your own enhancements to that game and then publishing it for so that other people can make use of that particular enhancement, right? So Lua is a very good scripting language for that purpose. Now, obviously a lot of games can, you know, use their own scripting languages, but Lua is the one that a lot of people use for the purpose of modding as well as other games also. You can see it being used in, you know, uh, games such as Dark Souls, right? And a lot of different types of games. And it's used in a wide variety of engines also. So you have engines like Amulet, Cocos, CryEngine, and Love. To be honest, you may not have heard of any of these engines except for maybe CryEngine, which is kind of popular because of Crisis. But other than that, you know, you don't have any of these other engines that you really hear about because that's true also because they're not that widely known. And uh, they're mostly, you know, mobile engines or mo for mobile platform or, you know, for 2D games like Amulet, Cocos and Love. Okay, so they all make use of Lua, uh, game, uh, Lua game language script and it really is an amazing language. So I think that Lua is an interesting language, but not interesting to be in the first position. Okay, so now let's talk about the one that is on the fifth position, which is an interesting place. That is the game maker language. Now, the thing with game maker language is that it's very specific to only one engine. That is the game maker engine, right? So that's the symbol you guys see over here. And game maker engine is one of those engines like Unreal Engine and Unity Engine, where you basically, you know, creating games using that particular engine. Now, the thing about game maker language is that it's used only for game maker. And second, it's used only for making 2D games mainly. But Game Maker is very easy to use and it's very beginner friendly. So if you're a person who's looking into game development, I would highly recommend checking out Game Maker Engine. Now, this is not a sponsored video or anything. I just think that's a good place to start off. 
And the language itself is kind of easy to learn. If you already have an idea of C++ or C Sharp, then it would be easy for you to get into using this language because it's similar to that and it's not that different from it. And if you have the basics of programming down, then game maker language is a language that you can easily pick up and you can start working with the engine itself, right? Now, even though game maker engine is used mainly for 2D games, that's not the case. They have you know, started making, allowing you to make 3D games also. And it's got a lot of different supportability for different kinds of plugins, right? So that's about game maker language. It's very useful if you're using game maker engine and it's very beginner friendly. So, you know, if you want to make 2D games, go ahead and check it out. And it's only used for one engine, that is the Game Maker engine. So that was the fifth position for, uh, you know, top of popular programming languages for gaming. Now comes the fourth most popular one that I think, you know, sits in this place properly is Java and Game Maker language, which are not that popular. And you might not even have heard of them, but now you know Java, right? Java is a object oriented language that you know helps us in a lot of different places in software development itself, not just talking about game development, right? But it allows for easy development of games on Android platform. So it's a good choice to pick up when you're trying to make games for a mobile platform, right? But that's not necessarily the case. You can always make use of C++ also. You know, that a lot of people code for mobile games even in C++, okay? And it gives you very good performance as it supports multi-threading and, you know, it makes use of JVM. So it's kind of cross-platform in that matter of sense. And one, you know, thing about it is that it's not that widely used. You, you will not say Java is a dying language or something, but the thing with Java is that it's not that widely used in gaming. And since it's not that widely used in gaming, you know, uh, it's not a language I would, you know, tell beginners to pick up. But if you already know Java and you still want to get into game development, then it's a good choice. All right. So that's Java and it has a lot of different engines that is being used in. You have Java 3D engine, you have JMonkey engine, you have libgdx. So these are the engines in which you make use of Java. And then comes JavaScript in the third position. Now JavaScript is a popular language by itself. And even in gaming, you can make use of it. A lot of people, you know, write games with the help of JavaScript. And it's very useful in development of uh, website itself. So if you want to build up auxiliary software to game develop, you know, games like if there is, you know, a new game coming from Bethesda, like a new Fallout or new Skyrim, and they want to promote it, you know, they'll make up a, make a site for it, right? So maybe there you can make use of JavaScript, but coming directly to the core game development itself, JavaScript is definitely used there. You can make a lot of different games with the help of JavaScript. And a good thing about it is that it has a lot of different frameworks that help you to do so. And that easily integrated, right? And uh, it's very easy to host and share games that have been made by JavaScript. So there are quite a few engines that make use of uh, JavaScript. You have uh, very bare bones engines like uh, Twine. Uh, it's an engine where, you know, you're basically making uh, narrative games where you just, you know, having a branching out storyline. There's no actual graphics or anything. And you have uh, engines like GDevelop, Play Canvas and A-Frame, right? These are the engines in which you're using JavaScript to create games. Now, A-Frame is another interesting engine because, you know, you are uh, basically using it to create uh, virtual reality games. So if you want to look into that direction, this is a good choice for you. Okay, so that was JavaScript for us. Again, it's not used to make those AAA games that you guys keep on hearing about. You may get into it with indie games, but not really the major, major games, right? Okay, and it's all also taken up over the Flash games. We used to have those Flash games as kids, right? But nowadays it's mostly, you know, JavaScript based games. Then we have C Sharp. Now, I think C Sharp is a good language. It's um, up and coming. And even in game development, it's used effectively in a lot of different places. 
Okay, so it's very easy to pick up and it's a very readable language. So it allows to e for easy game development, right? And since it's Microsoft's baby, right? You can <laughs> use C Sharp to create games that are well suited to work on Windows or Xbox platform, both owned by Microsoft. So if you're looking to that sort of direction, C, C Sharp is a very good language. And that's why I put it at this numbers two position, right? And one thing that I feel about C Sharp that is really limiting about it is that there are very less number of games that actually make use of C Sharp. So uh, if you take C Sharp up without actually knowing other core languages like uh, we will talk about, uh, then it's not that great per se. Okay, because you're not using it in a lot of different engines. But again, that's not to say that, you know, uh, if you know C Sharp and you want to get into game development, then you have no options available. But I think it's a very powerful language. It's a very powerful script. And the reason it's at number two is because one of the most popular, you know, uh, game engines you make use of it. So let's look at it. You have Unity, right? A lot of you may have heard of Unity and probably are using it, you know, for some purpose, maybe learning or creating new games, right? So Unity makes use of C Sharp as a scripting language, okay? Not its core, the engine is not built out of C Sharp, but it uses C Sharp for as a scripting language. That means to create a game, you write in C Sharp. Then you have other engines like uh, Zenko, now known as Stride, and then you have CryEngine. So in CryEngine, you can use multiple scripting languages. Uh, you can use C Sharp as well as Lua. Okay, CryEngine is a very uh, powerful engine. It has uh, some really awesome lighting effects and you know, a lot of uh, good shaders and everything. Uh, so again, good to pick up. Okay, so this was the number two, C Sharp. Now let's move on to the last language. Now, can you guys take a guess? It's a very easy guess to take. You guys very, very well know this language. It is ta -ta C++. Right, so C++ is a language that a lot of people make use of in game development. And to be very honest with you, C++ is way too widely used in the game developing industry. Now, that might not be the case in software development these days, but in the gaming industry, C++ is the boss. Everyone makes use of C++. Any popular game you can name off, it probably makes use of C++ in one way or the other. Either, you know, the engine is made out of it or the scripting language being used is C++. Okay, so it is one of the more popular, langu popular languages. So that's why it comes at number one. It is used in a lot of different engines. If I sat down to list all the engines, then you guys will get bored because it's not an engines list. Maybe we should do an engines list. Go ahead and put a comment and let us know what you think about and it is used for all different kinds of uh, you know platforms mobile platform pc platform consoles where if you want to make games right you can always make use of c plus plus and it's very fast it has very good memory management and it has a set of large number of libraries that help you create amazing games right so all of these languages really do help us out so now let's look at some of the engines that c++ is being used in you guys will you know get reminded of you have the frostbite engine you have the four engine so let me give you an example of games that have been built in these engines so in frostbite you have like battlefield games being made in it uh, you have uh, you know all the dice games being made in frostbite anyway like any uh, ea games are generally made in frostbite right they're trying to promote it very heavily it's a good engine and then you have the 4a engine it's a very specific engine but i mentioned it because it has one of my favorite games that is being made in it that's called metro game if you guys have heard of it metro 2033 metro last light and exodus all of these games are made in the 4a engine it's a it's it's basically by the 4a studios uh, it's a ukrainian based uh, studio go ahead and check it out and then you have obviously Unreal Engine, which is again a very popular engine after Unity. A lot of people make use of it and a lot of really good games come out of Unreal, right? And then you have id Tech. So id Tech is an engine made by uh, the id team uh, under Bethesda. It's a very popular uh, game engine that they internally use in a lot of games. You might have uh, played those games like Doom or Wolfenstein. All of these games make use of, uh, you know, the ATEC engine and in the ATEC engine, they use C++ as their scripting language. 
right guys so these are the different engines in which you're seeing that c++ is being used and the list i've given is very small you will see that a wide range of you know games are making use of c++ as a scripting language so this is what i would recommend for you guys all the languages that i've listed so far lua game maker language java javascript and c sharp and c++ right there are a lot of languages for you to look at if you already know one of these languages then well and good you can go ahead and pick those languages up and then move forward but if you are a beginner what i would recommend is checking out c++ because c++ is something you can easily use to get into the industry okay so we have a lot of good videos on c++ and you guys can start by watching those videos on our channel and really help yourself out by learning about these uh, you know uh, languages from there and then you can pick up game development after that right and if you guys want more videos about gaming and game development go ahead and leave a you know comment in the chat in below we'll go ahead and have a look at it and we'll make a video on that okay so obviously if you want to learn javascript we have videos on javascript also we have big tutorials on javascript if you want to learn c++ we have videos on c++ also and even java right so whatever you're interested in go ahead and check it out okay guys thank you so much for watching this list i hope you guys really enjoyed it got something informational out of it i want to introduce you to great learning academy a free initiative by great learning you can access over 200 plus courses with 1000 plus hours of free content on trending high demand domains absolutely free register now to complete the course and get your free certificate of completion check out the link in the description of the video below if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet i want to request you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any new updates or video releases from great learning if you enjoyed this video show us some love and like this video knowledge increases by sharing so make sure you share this video with your friends and colleagues and make sure to comment on the video for any queries or suggestions and i will respond to them